There you go, let's have a go lucky here with another maths question of the day. Today I've chosen some averages questions thanks to mathsgenie.co.uk who put a lot of effort into getting similar questions into one pack. So if you need to practice, you can go to mathsgenie.co.uk and choose your topic and off you go. Today's topic is averages. We're looking at median, mean, mode and range. Mode isn't on here but it's something I'd like to discuss as well because people get confused quite a lot between which one means which one. So have a look at the question. There's two, three, four, plus a bonus mode question. I'll give you five marks for this question. See if you can get five out of five. Pause it, have a look at it, have a go at it, and then we'll be back with the solutions in five, four, three, two, one. Okay guys, we're back and here are the solutions. Jarlian wrote down the ages in years of seven of his relatives. The ages are 45, 38, 43, 43, 39, 40 and 39. Part A, find the median age. Part B, work out the range of the ages. And part C, work out the mean age. There's also mode is one of the other ones. So the averages, there are three averages, not four. There's three averages, median, mean and mode. So we'll go through each one of those together. Range is a measure of the averages. It's not actually classed as an average. Just a little fun uh, piece of information there <laughs> you can take away. Right, so the first one, find the median age. Median, if you look at the word, medi means middle. So think about the medieval being the Middle Ages, the Mediterranean Sea is in the middle of a load of land. So the median age is the middle value. And unfortunately, it's only the middle if things are in order. And in maths, we like things to be nice and ordered, right? So the first thing we need to do with this list is actually get it in order. And I want it in ascending order, lowest to highest. So I'll cross off as we go, 38. We've got 39 twice. So 39, 39. We've got 40, 43, 43 and a 45. 40, 43, 43, and 45. Okay, it should be easier now to find the middle value. Normally, if it's a big list, you can use a mathematical formula to help find the middle. When the list is this small, there's only seven of them, we can, you can kind of cross off one end as you go. You could do it like this and go, right, 38, 45, 39, 43, until you get to the middle, like that and the middle is uh, 40, so the median is 40 for this question. The other way to do it is if you look at, okay, there's seven relatives, so there's seven numbers in the list. What you can do is however many numbers you've got in the list, let's call it n, in this case n is seven, you're gonna add one to seven to get to eight and then cut it in half. That gives you four. What that means is not the median's four, but we want the fourth item in the list. One, two, three, four. So there's another way to find the median. That's more important when your list is bigger than seven items. When you've got a small list like this, you can simply just look at it and go, okay, not that one, not that one, no, that one in the middle. Okay, so I hope that's helped you find the median. Median means middle. Part B, work out the range of the ages. Think about a mountain range or the range of somebody's voice. It spreads from high to low, you know, far and wide. So what we need to do for the range of numbers is find the largest number and the smallest number and work out the difference between them. So going back to our list and we've put it in nice order now so that's good. Um, it's just 45, the biggest number. Take away the smallest number which is 38. And 45 take away 38 or what do you need to add to 38 to get to 45? 7. So the range is 7. Part C, the mean age. Well, mean's an interesting one because mean is not being mean at all. It's actually being very kind and generous. Instead of being mean, you're going to get all the numbers together, you're going to add them together, and then divide by how many there are. So everybody gets an equal share. It's nice, that, isn't it? So we're going to add all these together. So the first task is to add up 45 
38, all the numbers, until you get to the total. So I'll just quickly do that. OK, so I've added those numbers together and I get 287. You could use a calculator or you could line them all up using column addition. You could just do it in your head, I guess. Um, but you should have got the answer 287. And then to work out the mean age, well, we have to be generous and share nicely between all those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 people. So all we're doing is finding out what 287 divided by 7 is. And you'll find that normally it's a nice whole number rather than giving you something crazy like 15.2 recurring. So let's have a look. 7 into 2 doesn't go. 7 into 28 goes 4 times. And 7 into 7 goes once. Nice one. That convinces me that my adding up was correct and the mean value is 41. Nice. So that's the mark for the mean. And one thing I promised to mention was the mode um, because while we're here we might as well mention all of them. Mode means most. Now I don't mean the most as in the highest number but the most common. So which one do you see the most? Looking at the list we've got 38 once, 39 twice, 40 once, 43 twice and 45 once. So actually we have joint winners. If it asked us for the mode we would say the mode is 39 and 43 and maybe that's why I didn't ask it. It is possible to have more than one mode. OK, so there's all your answers for today. Hope that's given you a bit of a reminder on averages. So thanks a lot for getting involved. Thanks for watching. I've been Happy Go Lucky. I hope you're enjoying these. Let me know how I can help you in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye.